Hey, this is Justin with DayTradeTheMarkets.com on Friday, July 11th, and uh, I wanted to talk about a couple issues today. We had a really major sell-off in the crude oil market today. We were actually doing a live session with our members, and we were talking about it for the first uh, first half of the day or so. It's kind of what we were focusing on. So I wanted to talk about, uh, about kind of some of the clues that this was unfolding, and then also talk about ideas on maximizing profit um, when you do have a... Um, winning trade on maximizing profit also if you like to determine targets depending on whether you like to kind of trail your stop or if you like to try to pick out what your targets would be talk about two different ways of doing that um, this is bugging me I gotta change the spelling um, just was bugging me I apologize uh, so let's talk about some clues that uh, this uh, this market was uh, was selling off the first is that heading into the day we had a bigger picture bias that was down. So all things equal, we're, we would rather be looking for um, we would rather be looking for trades on the downside. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that in the end of yesterday, let me go back to the end of yesterday. We hit around this 03 level, which was uh, a pretty good area of resistance that we wanted to monitor. So we hit that right at the end of the day, and then in the overnight, we actually had a pretty good sell-off, especially late in the in the overnight. We actually opened below this next level down that we like to look at around 0230, and that was actually where the overnight low was as well, right in there. So we opened below kind of a key level after having tested the resistance late in the uh, session yesterday and selling off. So that's a little bit of context. So bigger picture bias down. Um, and um, and the fact that we're below a couple of key levels, okay? So that's kind of the context. So that, that looks like it's all unfolding as we would expect for the market to head down. Now, the first major clue that we want to look at, and, and this is the first clue we had to look for, for in, the, in the session today, is that we had this high velocity move, this box, as well as this level three selling aggression bar on the low of the day. So whenever you get a selling aggression bar on the low of the day, when the bigger picture bias is down, or conversely, if you've got a buying extreme aggression bar on the high of the day, if the bigger picture bias was up, uh, that's a really good clue that you want to try to go with that in some way. Whether that is just by selling it right on the breakout or whether that is to wait for it, to, more conservative way to wait for it to retrace either to the midpoint or to the high of that bar, it's a situation you probably want to get on. And so we were talking about that in our session today that in this area would be a, a pretty good place to be looking to get to be looking to enter a short position. And so that's exactly what happened. The only caveat would be that our next level down of potential support was at a 0180. And this is an interesting level that we were kind of monitoring the you know for the next hour or so. Because as you see, we tested to the highest level three bar, and that's where the, the first sell-off stopped. Then we came down here a little bit after 10 o'clock Eastern and had a really sharp, you know, at least at the time, a really sharp, sharp reaction higher right off of 0180. Okay, so for whatever reason, some bulls were stepping in right there at 080, uh, 0180. The same thing happened a few minutes later. And this is a two-minute chart, by the way. The very same thing happened a few minutes later as well. So we had really three knocks on the door after this original low had been established, and that's pretty rare. Usually on that third knock, it's going to break through, but it didn't. So we thought, okay, maybe this is setting itself up for a short color, a short covering rally. If this thing can uh, take out the people that got short expecting it to, uh, to head lower, but it didn't. It never reached... Uh, newer highs and actually you could see every time we moved higher it would it was making lower highs every time it did that okay so we're watching this and monitoring this in our session and then we finally get the breakout and we have it on this le another level three or extreme selling aggression so right there is a pretty good sign whether you wait for a retracement to the, the midpoint or just sell the breakout right there it's a good sign that's our kind of our, our fourth knock at the door so to speak on that 0180 at some point the the dam's gonna break so to speak so that thing starts to head lower <coughs> And then we get another really nice bout of uh, extreme selling aggression there, and we sell off from 0180 straight down to 0130. Now that's an interesting level that I want to talk about as well. And let me first bring over a, uh, a daily chart here. Um, you can see that we had uh, this really strong sell-off. Here's what it ended up having today. But the last time we had tested down to this price level was on June 5th, right here, okay, where we had a pretty nice buying reaction off of lows. And so what we did is we went back to look at June 5th while we were doing the session today. And here's June 5th. And you can see on this day, so again, this is going back 
uh, I don't know, five, six weeks, okay, with the last time price had tested this low, you always want to see what, what did price do or what did the market do the last time it tested at certain price levels, okay? And you can see that early in the day, we had a pretty major sell-off, and then it was met with some major buying, which really hasn't abated, hadn't didn't abate until um, the end of June, right? So here was the level right around this O. Um, 0130, 0140 area where the buying really started to come in. We haven't tested that low since. Okay, so that's an area that we wanted to monitor. So if you're looking for a potential, um, if you're looking for a potential area to, you know, target, that would that's not bad. Here's the 0130. Uh, oops, wrong button. Here's the 0130 to 0140 area right in here, and you can see the market for a couple of hours, uh, you know, found a little bit of support there. Okay, we te we did uh, so that you know if you're looking for targets, if you go back in time to the last time the market traded at a certain price level and see where did really strong buying or where did really strong selling. In this case, we use the level three extreme aggression bars come in. It gives you a really nice handle. It gives you an advantage to know when a market might be coming to a pause. So depending on your style, if you're more of a you know a shorter term trader who likes to lock in as much as possible, then you're looking for a potential opportunity there. Now you can see we did get another level three bar that came in. Tested right to the high of that. We broke out again for the low of this one on another set of level three bars. And then we got right to this 0110 area. And that was the low of the on the fifth right there. Here is uh here's 0110 right there. So that was kind of the bigger picture target we were looking to potentially hit. You could see we pierced right through there. So it didn't uh, we didn't get any kind of follow through on buying aggression until right here around uh, 140 or so Eastern time. It still, you know, came right back to up to 0110 and, and then sold off toward the end of the day as well. So just a really major um, <coughs> excuse me, almost a, uh, a, a a two dollar sell off in crude in one day, so pretty major uh, sell. In fact, it was a a two and a half, almost a two and a half percent drop in uh, in crude today. So uh, certainly a lot of opportunity today. Just wanted to kind of break that down. Uh, so if you're looking to you know if you're looking for targets, one way to do it is just to look for the last time price traded at a certain level and to see where buying or selling came in. Uh, that's so again like looking at locking in at this O you know, 0130, 0120, 0130 area in here. Um, that is not a bad place to, to get off if you're more of a looking to see, how, you know, if you can hold a trade as long as possible. Then what we tend to recommend is when you're on board one of these trades, look for these level three bars and, you know, put your stop well above. If you got in here, put your stop well above any time a new one comes in. So above that bar, above this bar, above this bar here. I mean, and, and I would look for tend to I would tend to look for a full bar above, which we didn't have there. And then when this one comes in, look for a full bar full bar above there. Look for a full bar above there. A full bar full bar above there. Full bar above there. And we didn't get it till um, right in here. Okay, so that's another way to hold uh, trades as long as possible is just to kind of trail them down and look for look for the market to actually prove to you that uh, either really strong buying has come in or that some selling has been rejected. So hopefully that all makes sense. I know I kind of went through that quickly. There's a lot there, uh, but uh, you know that's uh, I thought that was an interesting day in crude and the other markets were relatively quiet. So um, let us know if you have any questions on that. Otherwise, everyone have a great weekend and uh, we'll talk to you soon.